Hey all, welcome back. This is your host, Neil. Uh, we're going to be trying something a little new today. Uh, well, new for the, the channel. I've played this particular game, Infested Planet, before. Uh, and i got to tell you, it is a treat. Um, it is definitely not going to be everybody's um, uh, piece of cake, but uh, it, it delivers I exactly what it hopes to. Uh, kind of like a, a real-time strategy uh, tower defense is the best way I can describe it. But you guys will probably figure out what, why, why I enjoy it when we go ahead and get in here. Uh, we will go ahead and start with the tutorial, but we're mostly just going to run through it. We're going to try to keep, I think, these episodes about 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes tops. Um, recently, as I'm recording this, that is, I've posted a question to our uh, few subscribers uh, to kind of just give feedback on length. Uh, I appreciate anybody who gives feedback uh, ahead of time. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump right in. Infested planet. Drake's devils, rise and shine, you devils. Hope you all had a mighty comfy dreams, as you're going to be ankle deep in alien... <laughs> alien bleed <laughs> by evening. Uh, we're all here for one reason, to get paid. Um, we're going to just chew up some, uh, some bugs. Uh, you know what we've been trained to do, uh, so let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, the basic idea of this game is you control uh, limited resources in the form of uh, various styles of marines. Um, these ones being kind of your standard rifle. We've got a flame marine down here who's a different color than they should be because they're controlled by the AI. Ours will look a little bit different. So let's go ahead and just move on. Uh, and these are the aliens. Uh, they're not all like these aliens. Uh, as you can see, we, we've got a hive over here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, and blast away. Now the controls are a little limited right now, and that's okay. Frankly, we'll we'll be pretty good, uh, regardless of what happens here. Uh, right now, they're just trying to go ahead and give us uh, some of the basic commands, uh, which I've still apparently got nailed down a little well. Uh, the the large idea is for patrols, attacking ground, holding areas, uh, and utilizing resources that will later be given. Right now, we've got a, a pretty easy, uh, pretty easy goal of just trying to kill three of these hives and recapturing some of these command points. They will not all be this easy. can manually target if we want, uh, but oftentimes the marines will uh, pick priority targets based on which aliens are closer or which uh, structures they can reach. Alright, looks like we're getting a little bit of healing thankfully. One of these guys must be a medic, or it might just be something they, they provided to us. Alright, we killed three hives, 19 towers, those are the little... Um, uh, the turrets, the alien turrets we saw, and also the alien eggs. Here's a score for aliens. It's, it's a lot of aliens. Uh, bullets fired. BP used. We didn't actually use any. Alright. We get paid after every mission. Uh, Warpath. Story mission. Military contractors of the 101st Fleet you have got to do a job. At 0500 hours, one of our shuttles crashed. Uh, we've got to retrieve it. Uh, and its contents. Let's go ahead and get it. We're just gonna go ahead and do normal for now. If you guys like to see expert or hard, it's been a while since I've done uh, expert, but I have done hard. Uh, normal just seems to be a, a decent mix of fun, especially in the later missions when it gets pretty chaotic and you're just popping everywhere. Alright, November 10th, 2145. Uh, beach has been established perfectly. Uh, Drake's hired guns have been sent in to search for the shuttle, uh, but they cannot shake the feeling uh, that uh, as experienced as we are, we're, we're running a little dry. Uh, it's gonna get bloody real fast. All right, let's go ahead and roll through these patch of grubs. Uh, hopefully, get our uh, capture our sectors back. This is kind of our commandual module. We can select our marines this way too. We can group them. Uh, 
or we can click tap that's what it is to go ahead and get them all we're gonna go ahead and just start running uh, we're not gonna bother using our uh, missiles just yet hey there we go we can go ahead and get some more Marines if we really want to uh, here's some of the other items that'll start popping up in our UI shortcut for advance is, uh, I mean attack while advancing is a uh, patrol is P and using our rockets is G here we'll go ahead and use some rockets real quick they do cost ammo if I'm not mistaken I think it's uh, two ammo per rocket I guess they're gonna want us to, to do one of these anyways. Okay. Are we just are we just taking them all, I guess? And that's fine with me. I'm not gonna complain too much. Ooh, looks like they're dropping in some big guns. Uh probably shotguns. Yep, shotguns. Uh nice part about this particular game, if you assign multiple people to do uh different tasks. Uh, they will actually all do the task, uh, kind of like reassign it. So if you grab three guys, grab three crates, they're not all going to go to the same crate. You click each crate, one will be assigned to each of them. It's quite nice. Alright, yep, here's our ammo. It regenerates pretty slowly. You can increase that later using some buildings. Uh, but we're good for right now. Alright. Most people used 15. That sounds about right. Ammo used 22. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hives, towers, aliens. Pretty nice. Give us some more money. Uh, so you can go shopping. Um, I find uh, the medical pot an almost absolute necessity. So we're going to go ahead and skip that for right now and move on to this next mission real quick. Uh, which is going to be Arsenal, another story mission, of course. That's what most of these will be. Uh, there are some random missions they'll throw in here. Soldiers, our task is to secure a metric ton of lost goodies. Uh, we're right near a crash site, uh, so we'll see boxes soon. Uh, let's go ahead and keep our rifles close. Glad to see most of our boys and girls made it here in one piece. Keep being real careful, and soon we'll be back home getting drunk and counting your pay. Uh, don't go stirring up too much trundle, trundle, <laughs> trouble. Uh, the general uh, is some sort of hero, so let's not screw with this cargo too much. Uh, it does not matter. They're gonna dislike us anyways. Let's see, we got 14 BP. Yeah, yeah, we'll borrow some of these rockets and then we'll get yelled at later. That's a good take some of these down real quick. this. If you let it sit too long, they, they will regrow a hive. Ooh, this will be fun. Time to borrow. Ah, uh, it's too bad. I 
I couldn't remember if we could have a patrol like that. That's right, you gotta hold shift. There we go. Is that wrong? There we go. You gotta let go of shift. Maybe you don't need shift at all. I feel dumb. You don't need shift at all. I think these carry 10 each. It's definitely best not to set all of them for rockets. They will do some pretty stupid things sometimes. And anyone that gets in range usually will shoot a rocket. There we go. Why not? Oh, we've got to capture all these points. Come on, dude. What are you doing? Hey oh, mission one. I notice a theme in, in the games I enjoy. They have um, a particular kind of background music. I don't know how best to describe it. Ooh, drink your team's out of control. War's intellect, not a joyride. I ordered you to secure ammunition, not use half of it. Uh, they can't trust us on the front line, so we're going to report for guard duty and assign to babysit some amateurs. Oh, they're signing somebody. Oops, I said it wrong. Ooh, council report 57. The mission is proceeding according to the schedule, and the Xenoforms have offered, offered only token resistance. Uh, the general estimates are correct. We should be home in six months. Uh, however, there is a rowdy mercenary platoon, oh, my bad, uh, who will need to be uh, monitored. Uh, there we go. If you guys want to read it in full, you can always pause it. Ah, uh, who built this damn mess? Alright, here's our, our first taste for building. I find you want to try to get as much in it as possible. And have one of them uh, grab this officer crate. Uh, let's recycle that. And recycle both of them. All right, they aren't gonna let us build anything else yet, so we'll just get full full complement of marines. Uh, the officers shoot rockets. <laughs> Um, and they do a pretty good amount of damage to buildings. Here's how these uh, little machine gun turrets work. They they can take about any horde coming at them. Uh, as you can see, they'll kill a couple in a row. Uh, the only thing they're really not good against are the armored enemies that we will see later. Wrong command. It's all looking good still. We'll put him on uh, clean up duty. Ammo. It's still looking good. A couple of people poisoned. This is why it's good to get that medical pod pretty soon. Nice.
Yeah, go right ahead. We're not too concerned about our guys dying. We don't want them to die necessarily. Oh no, look. There's a large swarm coming. They're squawking about it. We gotta recycle everything and uh, get back to these guys. Yeah, we already did some recycling, as you saw. Recycle both of those. Nice. Nope. We don't need to do that. Did we capture everything. Cool. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they, they almost entirely come from here. You can control the direction they face a little bit. Oh gosh, we need 37 PP. I will just recycle most of our people. Oh, we need to recycle these guys. They move a little slower once they have these uh, bags attached to them, but once they get close enough, it'll automatically select. Yeah, this is a terrible location for them, by the way. Yeah, but we'll just we'll just finish this up. You line up enough, and even if you don't have enough guys, they'll build them all in a row. Get your houses. Frankly, we don't even need them. I've done this enough that oftentimes those turrets are good for holding areas, but you want you want marines. That way you can turn them into something else. And where the hell did they come from? Hold the line. Yeah, not a big deal. Uh, the officer, anytime you destroy a hive, uh, will give a slight speed boost, and I think inspiration. Basically. Uh, all right, we didn't do too bad. We could have done that a lot quicker though. Ooh, Blitzkrieg. Hello, Captain. We've been streaming uh, your briefings from me. The army is mobilizing for a big push, uh, and you're going to be in the front of the attack. <laughs> I've decided to use the Devils as recon uh, against the enemy. All right, let's get it. Uh, now it's time to sanitize the planet. I've ordered the start of offensive operations into deep alien infestation. I've tossed Drake's Marines into the front. Should give her something to write about. <laughs> All right. Five shotgun upgrades. Okay, whatever. We're gonna need some bigger guns. Yeah. Frankly, uh, I, I, I disagree. Got the firepower? Let's roll out. Shotguns are nice, but it's hard to beat them. Actually, I can't remember what's back here. I don't think there's anything back here we have to worry about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the uh, end of the map. I find it's usually better to only give one or two people commands. Um, I don't know. It just seems to work out well. I don't always remember to, especially in the heat of the moment. Oh, 
but it's typically going to find the work pretty well. Run it. W. Show you what we mean by these things are pretty good about just holding everything. Oh, good, we got a med pot too. Uh, I generally like to assign somebody with a shotgun because they're always in the front line. highlight over the guns. I think there's a way to just get it to show all the time. But you can also uh, also get an overlay of how far these enemies' guns will fire so you can stay out of range. Uh-oh. Time to sanitize the planet. Let's have number two collect some ammo. You start moving in. Coming from deep in the caves. just yet. That's okay. Making this number three. He's our next utility. Cycle. Oh. Hold up, bud. That's a bad idea. Look at that go. Look at him just be pumping. Bad line up here. They should hit this anyways. Yeah, I was gonna say he's gonna hit it anyways, but this'll this'll just absolutely decimate him. You 
can see these maps can get quite large. Alright, that's victory. We're getting a nice little stocking stocking pile. Stockpile of uh, cash. Crow's neck. I think this might be one of the last. Yeah, I think this is the last tutorial mission. Guess what, Drake? You and Doctor are going to find the source of the mystery signal and kill it. It's coming from somewhere deep, so you'll need to fight through several caves to get to it. Alright, let me show you the, the shop real quick. Speaking of which, uh, so this is going to be a shop. Uh, it, it, as you purchase, it'll branch out more. Uh, or as you progress, it'll also branch out more. Uh, the, there's three big types of upgrades. Building upgrades, um, equipment upgrades, like the minefield medical pod. The bunkers are an example of a building upgrade. Uh, and then there are also, uh, we'll call them marine upgrades. Uh, there are two types of marine upgrades. Uh, buffs, which just give you a single uh, missions power-up. Uh, but you can also get the the actual class uh, purchased as well for, for continual use uh, by upgrading your marines. Um, these can be really helpful for the harder maps because uh, they, they, they let you start out right off the bat with um, a, a much uh, more powerful group. Uh, but generally you want to focus on trying to get the building and the equipment upgrades uh, then followed by the actual soldier upgrades. Uh, for example, uh, we've got the medical pod here in the bunkers. The bunkers heal nearby soldiers and structures, and they allow uh, more time to defend points. Uh, later on, you can actually get turrets on those bunkers, too. Uh, however, the medical pods uh, can be towed by a marine. Uh, <sighs> minefields can be really good because they regrow, uh, and they can control a, a small area very efficiently, especially against the weaker ones. Uh, I think for us and our purposes, we'll go ahead and just grab the medical pod for right now, and we'll go ahead and hold off, uh, and we'll do Crow's Neck. Respectfully, I disagree with the conclusion that the unidentified signal is Cave Radio Echo. Uh, the general is sending a strike team in to locate and destroy the signal, however, uh, recommending uh, the current mission uh, be run through the proper science division. All right, let's be careful and keep an eye on anything unusual, you know, like half a dozen aliens. Alright, let's see. What do we got? Okay. We've got... Oh, we've got the, the chopper strike now. That's excellent. We'll show you guys that right now. Uh, we'll just go ahead and get another marine. So the chopper strike it can be free if you allow the time frame to count down. Um, and it does take a little bit of time for it to come in. Um, as you'll see, I think it's about 10 seconds. Oh, no, a little less. Five seconds, maybe. Uh, and it destroys pretty much everything in its way. Uh, this ammo does count down. I believe it's every five seconds. It'll go down by one. Ooh. It can be very handy. I think our biggest challenge here going to be controlling this path through. we got to get that secured before we can worry too much about the rest of it. If we can get this one taken out. Yep, here it's back. Let's get another marine in here. Excellent. Start capturing that.
The medical pod is especially good if you, uh, if you want to keep pushing. Uh, unusual changes. Uh, this is what we do best. Observe. Uh, so we've got our first mutagen. Spore mines. All hives are surrounded by proximity mines now. Let's get to it. Gotta capture this next one fast. As you can see, they're growing up. Uh, that way we can go ahead and push back north. Holding out valiantly, though. Good. Uh, the mines really don't matter. I don't think they even add to the overall uh, cost. I mean, uh, score. But your guys will automatically target them if they're on a uh, move in advance. I mean, uh, attack in advance. This one guy should be able to take care of that. Oh, we got our second one. Undamaged hives uh, heal nearby enemies. Gonna recycle that. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and we're gonna secure right here first and we're gonna loop up to the left. Do that by building two of these. Make another one of these into a shotgun. Good. We can we can move that this direction now. Let's see if we can soften them up. And here he is. Let's read that build description. I'm sure I can block it, but I not. Alright, I think that's gonna be just fine. I think the hives are starting to heal themselves. Yes, they are. Give it another second. And we'll be able to. Yep. Just for one ammo. Totally, totally worth it. For something that's gonna destroy all these guns and do a good amount of damage to this. Speed increase now. Yep. Figured they were going to start here in just a second. That's okay. We can go ahead and soften them up again. We didn't do a terrible job. Let's see if we've got anything unlocked. Uh, just the mines and the bunkers still. We got the buffs, but we're not worried about these. Alright. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and hold off for now. Uh, the tutorial goes quick. The rest of these will usually take about 5-10 minutes, depending on the uh, type of mission. Uh, Science Station usually is a story mission. The Sun Strike is usually just kill as much as you can uh, for as long as you can, uh, hence the bonus. Um, hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, Infested Planet's a fun one. Uh, it's not one I play for hours on end, like you you can have happened to Star Sector, uh, Mountain Blade, Bannerlord. Uh, it's very similar to Battle Void, uh, Harbinger, where the, the gameplay loop is quite a bit of fun, uh, especially for about that 30 minutes to an hour interval. Uh, after that, uh, you, you kind of feel the, the I don't want to say repetition, because there's enough variety that it doesn't get too overly boring, uh, but you, you start to feel the pattern setting in. Uh, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, especially if you liked it. Go ahead and comment down below any feedback you have or if there's a particular game you guys want to see. Otherwise, I really appreciate your time and look forward to doing this next time.